Case turned into a deadly crash that killed a young woman and injured her teenage brother. Investigators say the driver, Alyssa Marie Verbecki, was trying to get away from police. She's accused of returning to stop for Warren police near uh, Nine Mile and Fairfield. The crash happened less than a mile away last night in the area of Lappin and Shaner in Detroit. 7 Action News reporter Bethany Moore spoke to the victim's parents about their heartbreaking loss. Yeah, the family is understandably just heartbroken right now, but they really want the world to know what a special and caring young girl Deja Crawford was. Visions of the world that I used to know. That's Deja Crawford's beautiful voice. She was an inspiring writer. She loved to write music and stories, and it was like, you know, reading her story was like, you know, almost like it was coming to life. The 19 year old was about to go into her second year at Eastern Michigan studying journalism until her life was cut short. She was my everything. And so to have her, you know, taken away like that is definitely hard. Deja was killed when a Warren police chase ended with the suspect crashing into Deja and her 15 year old brother. By the grace of God, I know that, you know, myself and my family will get through it. Um, but it's going to be a process. Police say the chase began when they spotted 28 year old Alyssa Verbecki at 8 Mile in Fairport. She has a lengthy criminal record and had warrants out for her arrest. The pursuit was short as Verbecki T boned Deja and her brother at Fairport in Lappin. But Deja's family also has questions for police. Not only to the girl that caused the accident, but also to the police because this is a residential area. Um, at that speed, there should not be a, a chase going through a residential area. But Police Commissioner Dwyer says the chase was not fast or long. Uh, this was not a high-speed chase, uh, and it was not an extensive uh, chase. Rebecca is still in the hospital with non-life-threatening injuries. Deja's brother was released this afternoon with a bruised hip and concussion. But for Deja's family, the emotional scars will be the hardest to heal. One of the first things I did last night was pray for her and the police officer because I don't want to hate them. 